So in terms of the muraqaba dua, it's firstly very important to understand exactly what you are doing. You are conversing, communicating with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through a form of meditation. So the way you would do this is firstly close your eyes and do the utmost important thing which is to come into the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Again, by telling yourself that Allah is with you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is seeing you and he's also listening to you. When you come into the presence, to help yourself, you can look at the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but you imagine that the name of Allah is shining above you. And when you focus and look at the name of Allah, do this for about two or three minutes. The reason for this is because when you focus on something so much, you forget all of the things. So when you focus on the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after two or three minutes, then you close your eyes and that name is shining so beautifully above you. From the name of Allah, Azza wa Jal, there is a beautiful shining light shining down onto your mind and flowing through you completely. When you are focusing on this, that is when you start to converse. You start to mention your greatest sins, the seven greatest sins that you feel you have done. You present them one by one. When you have presented the sins, you start to mention the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to you and how you are thankful for them. Thank you for Iman, for the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace and blessings be upon them, for guidance. Then you start to mention the needs you have. It could be personal needs. It could be worldly needs, needs in terms of deen. Then you mention the problems you are facing, again, in all aspects. Your own personal self-development from the Islamic point of view and also the worldly point of view. Then mention any guidances, any decision-making you want help with. So as you were mentioning these, just to reiterate again, one can mention seven sins or the greatest sins that they have done, seven blessings that they are very thankful for, seven needs that they have, seven problems they are facing, and any guidance that they want in terms of decision making. Once this is then done, to end the actual meditation, you imagine or think that you are bringing all of these things together like a gift and you are presenting them to Allah. That Ya Allah, just like we do in dua, Ya Allah, you take care of this. You are the being who can take care of these things. I will just do what I can, but I rely and leave to you. <laughs>